So good day, everyone. My name is Naja Thomas, and my topic uh, for today's presentation is bridging the health literacy gap in chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which is known as COPD, leveraging phase one data visualization for enhanced understanding and empowerment, which this is actually phase two. I originally started a draft version of this uh, in last year, and then I modified it uh, some time ago. So let's get started. So for my abstract, uh, this study, again, is bridging the health literacy gap. Uh, it use, utilizes data visualization that was actually developed in the initial phase one uh, to further bridge the health literacy gap in COPD. I am leveraging the existing visualizations because I want to use those visualizations to look into um, enhancing patient and provider understanding of COPD which will eventually lead to like improved diagnoses, management, and then as well as self-empowerment. Uh, the study focuses on how those visualization uh, techniques uh, e effectively used to communicate complex clinical information. It is also important to identify those key risk factors as well as support uh, personalized treatment planning it will then explore how those visualizations can empower patients to actively participate in their care, to foster shared decision-making, as well as improve self-management skills. So my expected outcome will include enhanced clinical decision-making. It will optimize resource allocation, and as well as inform and engage COPD patient, the patient community. So the research uh, contributes to the development of just a, just data-driven strategies that will leverage visualizations to improve patient outcomes, the quality of life, as well as health literacy and COPD or the literacy of health and COPD. So this is just basically empowering uh, COPD patients through data visualization. So just the key component here is that to really empower COPD patients, uh, this, this slide hopes to enhance understanding, provide personalized insights to, uh, to receive active participation, and as well as to improve that self-management component. So to bridge the health literacy gap or to bridge the literacy of health gap in COPD, the focus is on visual communication, targeted education, as well as like a shared language and to increase engagement. So for my, pro my project introduction, the purpose of this project is to just address that gap, uh, to provide clear communication, to utilize measuring success, to improve outcomes, um, whether that be health literacy to empower COPD patients and their healthcare providers through different like development, implementation, evaluation of data visualization, which will eventually lead to better disease management, improve clinical outcomes and enhance quality of life. So uh, the challenge for COPD patients is uh, summed up in these four four uh, bullet points. Um, it focuses on COPD management. What is the limit to really understanding the understanding of COPD? How low health literacy is in, in that's associated with different high risk of like hospitalization and em emergency room visits. Um, and then as well as like difficulty really understanding and managing their condition will can lead to increased anxiety, depression, and really diminish quality of life for COPD patients. So the project goes and some best practices there, are, the project aligns with what is considered the quadruple aim by enhancing patient experience through improved understanding and self-management to improve population health by reducing hospitalization, um, to promote better adherence, uh, to reduce costs, better disease, better disease management, to support care teams, and by facilitating effective communication and shared decision making.
so addressing my why in phase two, I talked about my why in phase one, but why did I want to expand on phase one and then create this phase two? Uh, because building up on phase one, this extension underscores the project's importance by really addressing those critical unmet needs, employing a patient-centered approach and enabling data-driven decision-making, thus like really demonstrating uh, the significant potential for scalability. So for my future works to really expand on phase two, um, I can sum it up as to look at it at a larger scale of implementation, uh, integration with existing systems, remote monitoring capabilities to utilize AI powered insights, and as well as to look at the economic evaluation. So in conclusion, uh, visualizing just a brighter future for COPD patients. So this is what I wanna say, to truly visualize a brighter future for this project, uh, we must consistently emphasize its key elements, the project summary, its impact on the quadruple aim, the future vision, a clear call to action, and then last but not least, a sincere expression of gratitude, which is I'm Nadja Thomas. So that's, that's the end of my presentation. And thank you so much for listening. Have a great day. Please like, subscribe, add me, follow me, uh, so I can show you guys how innovative I can be, how I can revolutionize the research um, space. And have a great day. Thank you so much.